welcome to this video from the RC Ground School. RC simulators allow you to practice and do things that would be too risky to do with your model at your current skill level. This is true if you're an RC beginner or an RC expert trying out some new 3D flying maneuver or routine. The good news is that you don't have to spend a bunch of money to get started with the sim, although you can if you have the budget. For the new RC pilot, the goal is to get your first well, 100 or so crashes out of the way in the sim. In this video, We'll take a quick look at simulator fidelity or how accurately the sim models the reality and how to choose the best sim for your circumstances. So let's get started. I was an Air Force instructor pilot for many years. During that time, I logged lots of hours in simulators. During that time, I also learned quite a bit about sims and how what you're trying to do impacts the quality or the fidelity required from the sim. Cockpit mockups were great for learning procedural steps like doing checklists while fully enclosed full crew stations or on hydraulic legs were needed for complex instrument approaches and emergency procedures. The same thing applies with your model. Physical fidelity refers to how closely the sim represents the actual world. One of the things you'll be interacting with is the RC controller or transmitter. A PC gamepad will work, but has low physical fidelity. Inexpensive plastic controllers are better in that they resemble an actual transmitter. At the top end, Sims that allow you to connect your actual transmitter via an interface of some type represent high fidelity devices. Your computer's ability to do high quality graphics along with the Sims ability to compute the moving images are also elements of physical fidelity. Most basic Sims and computers do a good enough job for the beginner. The other aspect of your sim's fidelity is its aerodynamic fidelity. In other words, how well does the sim's aerodynamic engine faithfully reproduce the effects of the model's flight controls in the simulated world? Advanced simulators have excellent aerodynamic fidelity. You'll pay a bit extra for that, as you might expect. For advanced users, solid aerodynamic fidelity is very important. It's less important for someone whose main goal is to develop some muscle memory in terms of turning left and right. So, should you get a sim? And if so, what should you consider when making your purchase? The short answer to the first question is yes, you should get a sim. It's important to get some basic control skills, whether you are learning with an instructor or teaching yourself to fly in a field behind your house. What sim to get will be based upon where you envision your RC hobby taking you. If you see yourself as a sport pilot with a couple of electric airplanes you enjoy flying around the field, a basic sim to get you through the first hundred crashes will likely be enough. You can find several of these packages offered on eBay and Amazon. In most cases, you'll be paying for the controller and getting a copy of an older open source sim called the Flying Model Simulator, or FMS. This sim has lots of airplanes available online, but you still need to install a DLL file on your Windows 10 computer as support for the software ended a couple of years ago. Vendors such as BitGo Hobby Online have packages available for about $40 that include a simulated controller and downloadable software. Don't let the age of the FMS software fool you. It works fine even on older computers and is accurate enough for the new pilot to get started. On the other hand, 
If you see yourself developing into the next national champion aerobatic pilot, or believe you could benefit from a virtual instructor who lives inside the sim, then the more expensive sim will be your best choice. Full-featured sims include things like excellent aerodynamic engines, user-specified weather variables such as wind and visibility, excellent graphics that include accurate flight control movements, and the ability to fly with others online, and of course, your virtual instructor. There used to be several full-featured sims to choose from. Currently, there's really only one. That one is Real Flight from Horizon Hobby. It just dominates this market and for good reason. It is constantly updated and has the tools and capabilities that allow you to customize models, add flying sites, and upload hundreds of different models, although most are from the Horizon Hobby family of brands. Currently, the software alone sells for about $100 and a package that includes a controller sells for about $180. If you see yourself advancing into large complex models, doing advanced maneuvers, then real flight is a good choice. Even if you don't see yourself going in that direction, if you like computer gaming or can only fly for part of the year, a full featured sim like this one can keep you occupied on those cold winter days. The Advanced Sim is also a worthwhile purchase if you'll be teaching yourself to fly. The instructor in the machine can be very helpful when you don't have a live instructor. We started this video by asking the question, do I need a simulator? I hope you agree that whether it's a basic sim or an advanced one, the answer is yes. As we close out this video, if you found it helpful, please click on the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the rcplaneviews.com channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.